My name is Matthew Kichi Hafey, and this is a day in the life of me. Typically on tour days, it's kind of difficult to find nature, but I think one of the big things for me is absolutely finding something where I can be in nature. I've created a lot of regiments and a lot of things that I feel like I need to do on tour on a regular show day to, to wake up, to feel good, to feel right. One of those big things is absolutely getting sunlight. Now, with high UV, skin cancer in my family, I try to make sure I regulate it. I watch the UV level, the dorky stuff like that. If I really want to be in it for a while and the UV's high, sunblock. Here, as you can see, we're in Switzerland on the Trippium Heaven Show Burn Run. It was actually pretty cold that day, and I was fighting back and forth with finding sunlight between gray clouds, which is typically what happens in Europe. Big thing with me is I also need to work out, I need to exercise. Even the days that I find that I don't want to, it at least helps wake me up. I try to rotate and alternate between steel mace on show days because I do love the steel mace. I love being able to just have to have one weight to pull everything off. I also use kettlebell, ashtanga yoga, things like that. Now when I can find sunlight and I can find nature, I really like to be barefoot on grass something natural, something real. And I try to spend a lot of time outside as I can because a lot of time on tour is spent inside the bus, inside venues, inside dress rooms. And I find that that just doesn't feel great to always be in. So even if I'm working, even if I'm doing nothing on my phone catching up, I like to just be out in nature. Later on the day, we typically have a meet and greet with our fans, um, whether it be fan club or supporters or VIP. I do a lot of warming up. I have a very specific regimen. I tested over years with, after blowing my voice out and training with Ron Anderson, I tried different methods of warming up X amount of hours, every variable possible before a show, testing out the variable of time in between. So let's say I warm up at 8 a.m. and then for an hour, 30 minutes or five minutes, every single interval in between, I would test zero minutes to one hour to five hours to 10 hours in between the show and the show time. So typically on tour, I do two hours before 40 minutes and that seems to really get the screaming and singing dialed in correctly. We've recently integrated the pig pen, which has become kind of a sensation for our fans and our friends, where before we were having maybe friends who were coming out to shows, friends and family, they'd come out and hang out. And lately we've actually opened up to our VIP as well. And people have really loved it. We're able to take requests and everything. So after my warm up, I do a band warm up, and that's generally about an hour before we play for 30 minutes together. Then it's time to go up on stage and do our thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure what my other band members do for their warm-ups, but I know it's not as lengthy for vocals. It's just what I need. I find that some singers don't need to warm up. Some of the best singers in the world don't need to warm up. They just go up and sound incredible. That's not me. I know exactly what I need, and it's that two hours before. I do a couple minutes again before show, generally that 30 minutes before, right before, right after pig pen, right before the show. I do a section that I know works really well. I actually have like a very specific order of the head voice exercise, that's the opera stuff and the silly BG sounding stuff, into trivium head voice, into full voice. Then we go up on stage and do our thing. And it's always a blast. This touring cycle alone will hit 208 shows worldwide on a world tour. That's a lot for reference. And it's been amazing. We're gonna hit about 1930 plus shows career-wise since we first started playing shows and I guess that would have been counted from 2003 being the first time we hit Europe. As you can see, this world tour has been very, very good. Our days off look a little bit different. I do have routines as well. I don't think everyone else has a routine on their day off, but show days and days off, I wake up and the first thing I do is like a two to three minute vocal warm up. Here's a day off where the hotel had food. So we, we love our food as you've all seen. We like to eat together. We generally do most meals together. I think the breakfast guys are usually Paulo, Alex and I. Corey will join up for lunches and dinners when we do those out. But I think a big thing with the reason why our chemistry works so well is we like to be together. There are a lot of bands out there that, you know, also like to be together that some some don't. I find that if I'm going to be away from my family, I, I need to be very happy to be around the people I'm around. Now, the routines throughout the day, we talked about this for show days, but it remains semi-similar on an off day as well. I make sure I do my vocal warm-up in a hot shower where there's steam. Um, I like to end the shower super cold as well. I try to do like 30 to 45 seconds to wake myself up. Massaging and foam rolling is a big thing that I do on both show day and days off. 
it's very integral. Just get the blood flowing. I don't know if it's a placebo effect for me or I've, I've definitely heard numerous people mention the effects of exercise and getting blood flowing in your body and what it does for your mind and your body and your spirit and everything, even when you're beat up. I try to not overdo it. I find that doing like 60 to 90 minutes of jujitsu on a show day is not conducive to the show. So it is finding that balance for you. If we can find it on tour, steam rooms on days off are huge for me. I think being able to sit in that steam is really rehydrating to the voice. Saunas, I would advise singers to do that really on just days off. I don't find that sauna is helpful on a show day because it can really dry your vocal cords out. Some of the places we stay on days off have a really well-equipped setup. This one here in Munich or Hamburg had a steam room sauna and also had like an ice vending thing with bottles of vodka in it. I didn't imbibe in that. So here, finding sun time, finding yoga time, finding stretch time. I also do physical therapy for my old lower back injuries and I try to take care of the injuries that are there. I find that it's important to, and what I say in Jiu Jitsu all the time, it's not about working through an injury, it's working around an injury and knowing that I've got the busted finger, the weird back, the busted shoulder, these things. You find what works and what you can and can't do. The other thing on a show day and an off day is finding time to breathe, whether meditative breathing or whatever it may be. And then my newest favorite thing is just lay time. And I got that from Alex. It's just being lazy, whether watching TV, playing on the phone, catching up on social media, whatever it may be. This is Matthew K. Hafey, and this was a day in the life of me.